many years, 20,000 slaves and craftsmen have been creating the most spectacular tomb in the history of this very Egypt. Pharaoh Mimosa's earthly remains shall lay here for all eternity in safety and in peace. Subjects of our great Pharaoh Mamos, king of all Egypt, companions in arms of Tanis, faithful servants to Queen Lostris, friends. We have arrived at the conclusion of a great journey. Before you lies the final resting place of our Pharaoh. From this point, he will continue his long-awaited journey to the afterlife. The great river god will show you a sign of his greatness. all future desecrators of the royal tomb, I destroyed the entrance to the first chamber and opened the sarcophagus in such a manner that it would seem that others equally scurrilous had beaten them to it. Pharaoh's real tomb was to be buried deep in the belly of the cliff where I had created a maze of false passages and dummy burial chambers. I designed many more such surprises and hidden them in the most ingenious of places. Before leaving the tomb, I took a few moments to set one of my favorite devices. Bolts of timber that would decay over the centuries, devoured by a special fungus I had developed. In the process, they would emit obnoxious fumes potent enough to suffocate any intruders who dared trespass so far. The quicksand would add to their troubles. healthy boy. He's 
born. Tannis' son is born. No. She was gone, the queen I had nursed since childhood, held in my arms, sung a thousand lullabies to, protected as she protected me, not gone forever, but into the shadows. Live peace, my child. <laughs> now it was time to protect her child. saw him. You must forget him. One word and it'll mean both your deaths and mine. May this sacred stone protect him as it has all the pharaohs. O oh, great river, I entrust this life to you and to the good graces of Sobek, and in the eternal current of time, to awareness.